Hello everybody and welcome back to another One Piece Burning Blood educational video. My name is Tsubakoji, our Tsubakiji, and this is the Zone Game Go. So in this video we're going to be talking about Bartho. Well not just Bartho as in the character because we're not doing a full character guide. But more specifically we're talking about safe switch-ins or safe switch-ins involving barrier. So if you know what a safe switch-in or you don't know what a safe switch-in is, a safe switch-in is a sort of way where you can bring out one of your characters without any contest until it's your opponent. Your opponent can try to use anti-air so and shit like that in order to stop your safe switch-in from being easily done and therefore punishing you. Now Punishing a safe switch-in or a switch-in doesn't necessarily get you super punished if you're in still in the air, unless your opponent has an anti-air that converts into a combo, um, but in most cases, you're not going to take a buttload of damage, unless you land on the ground and yeah, that's when you're going to get hit, back hit, it's all the kind of jazz, yada yada. Okay, so for Bartho here, we're going to talk a little bit about his barrier for this video and how amazing it actually is. But, um, a little bit of information about Bartho first, that he's a tricky character, 2,000 points. Um, he is a Delphi fruit character, so yeah, that. And the only Delphi fruit he has access to is his barrier. So his barrier is pretty good um, in terms of what it actually can do. My understanding is that the barrier is mainly used for defense purposes of stalling. Like, if, you're, if your partners are healing, you can pop the barrier, and you can keep it popped for as long as you want. Your opponent, of course, can go around the barrier, but every time they do hit it, they will get knocked back a little bit um, from going to the barrier. It also, moves that have connected to the user will also cause that user to also flinch and the action of the barrier. Now, when you have barrier opened up, you can use two different moves from the barrier. You can actually use his um, special movement, which is R1X. <laughs> Or you can actually press the barrier button again, or press L1 to circle again, or the barrier guard button, not barrier guard, but special guard, in order to actually push the barrier. Another uh, thing about the barrier is you can do special movement, and then you can do special guard to actually do barrier crush. Now you cannot do this, and it's part to have the barrier up. Now, the barrier doesn't do that much damage in terms of what you actually saw. It's not a damaging type move at all. But it can knock your opponent far, far away, allowing you for this free switch in. Now, you can have this barrier opened up for an in-depth in amount of time until you actually, you know, get hit or just cancel it out. So when Bartho cancels out himself, he only gets about a second. Yeah. A second here. And that's only and see, if I stand still. It's not even a second, but as soon as I use barrier and it's rock away, that barrier stays. So that's the thing. Once movement is actually enacted from this barrier, you can actually keep it as part of the battlefield as a helpful method. Okay, and that is not just different. <laughs> that's not different from his partners too. So activating barrier switch to a partner you have this barrier's protection so you can literally do this switch out the back hit like it works wonders barrier can not just be used as a defensive tool but it can also be used as an offensive tool as well because you're restricting your opponent's options like you gotta look at that there's a wall here you switch out and now your opponent is on a wall there's nothing really they can do here. This is not a combo. Do a ball this. Like I said, not a combo. Just doing stuff. But still, that was pretty epic. So, like, using the barrier um, does a really good job in actually um, preventing your opponent from doing certain stuff. Uh, if your opponent is a giant character, if you activate the barrier type move, um, they can't move past you if you go into a corner. Um, they can't even attack you. Really, so you can literally just do this for days, but be careful not to use barrier crush and actually just like activate barrier to stop your attack. I once uh, stalled an entire Frankie Awakening simply by using the barrier ability. Remember, this is an indestructible move. Also, you see those sparks that he's doing with his hands? That means this move does have hockey. So if someone was to activate their Logia on this barrier, it will break. So this is by far the strongest indestructible move in the game, cannot be destroyed, cannot be eliminated, 
uh, but when Bumbarto does lose his ability, he no longer can use Barrier. That being said, he has two other special attacks that have nothing to do with his Fruit ability, so he can still utilize those as kind of pseudo trick the character, while Barrier is mainly just for defensive purposes, safe switch-ins, and just tagging your opponent. Used offensively, it can still potentially be a threat, but I think if it's used offensively, it should at least have some sort of character. Like, you just have to be Barrier here. Then you put a person to a wall as a barrier, go into the go into the little cannonball. Now the cannonball, remember, is actually a bomb, so you can actually just barrier, walk away, cannonball, and it's gonna blow up in a second. Like your opponent is, is basically gonna respect and gonna block the cannonball most likely because they're gonna think it's gonna blow up. And if they don't block it, thinking it's it's a fake, then you're gonna be doing a combo on them or getting a safe switch in after that. So that's kind of like the fundamentals of the barrier and how it can be utilized. Like it can be really tricky and it can take down even characters in their 3k form. It can like devastate Shanks without even having to really touch him. Um, but if you have any questions and want to know more about Bartho's barrier ability, uh, please let me know in our Discord channel. In the meantime guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy playing One Piece Burning Blood.